Uh, President Biden is back in isolation after testing positive again for COVID. The president's doctor says he's not showing any new symptoms right now, but the president is sidelined at a pretty critical time on his agenda. ABC's Faith Abube has details. This morning, President Biden's public schedule cleared after he tested positive again for COVID over the weekend. Feeling fine, everything's good. Biden sidelined as Democrats move closer to passing a negotiated version of the president's core agenda this week. The so-called Inflation Reduction Act includes provisions for Medicare to negotiate prescription drug prices, sets corporate minimum tax at 15 percent, and makes historic investments in clean energy. Senator Joe Manchin, whose surprise deal with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer revived the legislation, telling ABC News the bill is about investing in America. This is all about fighting inflation and the high cost of energy and any and everything else you want to do in life is taking a tremendous toll. Republicans, however, skeptical about what the major legislation could do. GOP Senator Pat Toomey on CNN calling the this bill a disaster. Worse. It's going to make inflation worse. It's not going to do any good. Concerns about the economy growing following last week's grim federal report, which shows for a second quarter in a row, U.S. gross domestic product dropped. Fears that the economy is sliding into a recession, even as inflation remains at historic highs. It's very concerning. And it's not just a few categories. It's spreading out more broadly across the economy. Neil Kashari, president of the Minneapolis Federal Reserve, telling CBS even rising wages are not keeping up. The Federal Reserve has more work to do to bring inflation down, to bring the economy into balance. And back on Capitol Hill, Senate Democrats need at least 50 votes to pass the inflation bill, but it's unclear whether they have the support of Arizona Democrat Kirsten Sinema, who hasn't yet signed off on it. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.